With the death of one man, country music loses a trailblazer. His album nearly faded into obscurity. Instead, the artist became a voice to help diversify country music. News Channel 5's Forrest Sanders tells us his story. This was back in March when we first met Patrick Haggerty. He was touring Tennessee with music he'd recorded nearly 50 years ago. Music he never thought the world would hear. The world's first gay country album. When Patrick began recording Lavender Country, it was a few years before the gay community found refuge in the late 70s disco scene. Patrick's inspiration was music born in far quieter spaces. I grew up in a rural environment in 1955 on a cow farm. What was in me was country. Come out, come out, like you used to, lavender country. One of the basic principles of coming out was don't shut up. Back in March, out country singer Ty Herndon told us Patrick was so ahead of his time. The very idea that, you know, that we would have had a out gay artists on the radio at that time, it would probably have uh, raised Nashville up uh, with an earthquake, <laughs> which would have been great. <laughs> Everybody was shocked by it. It was outrageous. Lavender Country had no possibility for commercial success, and so it died. Then, in 2014, out of the blue, someone uploaded a song from Lavender Country to YouTube, and the album was reissued. Patrick, in his 70s, was suddenly a touring act playing places like Basement East. After complications from a stroke, Patrick Haggerty has just died at 78. But we're left remembering this gig earlier this year where we met Patrick, and he told us his story of an album brought out of obscurity. And it's um, incomprehensibly and astonishingly beautiful experience at the end of my life. Come out, I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5.